In 1997, Yamaha built a MotoGP engine that fired all wrong on purpose, and it made their bikes faster than engines with perfect firing intervals. The YZR500's Big Bang engine clusters three of its four power pulses within just 90 degrees of crankshaft rotation, then creates a massive 270-degree gap of almost nothing. Every motorcycle textbook says this should destroy performance. Smooth, evenly spaced power pulses, every 180 degrees are supposed to be optimal. But here's the physics. Defying reality, when Max Biaghi and teammates hit the throttle, that lumped power delivery actually gave them more traction than perfectly balanced engines. The mechanism sounds impossible until you understand what happens to the rear tire. Traditional engines hammer the contact patch with relentless, evenly spaced pulses. The rubber never gets a break to regain grip. Yamaha's clustered firing creates a brief window where the tire literally recovers between power hits. During that 270-degree gap, microscopic rubber deformation resets, heat dissipates, and the contact patch rebuilds traction. Then WHAM, the next cluster of power pulses, hits a refreshed tire that can actually handle the load. Independent testing showed Big Bang engines produced measurably higher corner exit speeds despite making identical horsepower numbers. Wayne Rainey's former crew chief called it cheating physics with timing. The craziest part? This principle applies to any motorcycle. Whether you're tuning fuel injection or choosing gear ratios, understanding that tires need recovery time between power applications changes how you think about acceleration entirely. Every smooth linear power band you've ever praised was actually working against maximum traction potential.